Hello, this is Laptop Media and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 860G9. You just have to undo 5 captive Phillips head screws. After that, you can pry the bottom panel starting from the top of the plate. Speaking of the bottom plate, it's made of aluminum and it has two thermal pads for additional cooling for the Wi-Fi module and the WWAN card. Here, we have a 51.3 Watt hour battery unit. To remove it, you have to unscrew four Phillips head screws, and then unplug the battery connector from the motherboard. It lasts 14 hours and 17 minutes of either web browsing or video playback. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. The memory slots are protected by a metal shroud. There are two SODIMs and the maximum possible memory configuration is 64GB of DDR5 RAM in quad-channel mode. The NVMe is protected by a metal shroud as well. You can rely on a single M.2 PCIe X4 slot, compatible with Gen 3 and Gen 4 SSDs. SSDs The NVMe cooling looks great because there are two thermal pads placed on both sides of the SSD. A WWAN slot is available as well and it can be used for LTE connectivity which is an optional feature for this laptop. The cooling solution is a simple one and it comprises just one heat pipe and a normal looking fan.